So one of the things that's bugged me with this Jeep Gladiator, and I'm sure it's probably true for the uh, JL JLUs, two door, four doors, Wranglers, is the prop rod. I get why they use the prop rod because it's nice and easy to get the hood up and out of the way. But for everyday use, for like what I use it for, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's always right here in the way. You have plenty of room over here, but if you're doing anything over here, you have to come off to the side and you have this. And I often find myself finding a broomstick to prop this up from over on this side. So we're gonna fix that problem today. So in that box, we got a tube. In the tube, you can see, prop rod no. This is from uh, Redline Tuning. And what it is, is a kit. To install two prop rods, one on each side of the hood. Comes with all the necessary hardware. And this is super easy to do. When you open it up, you're gonna get uh, these nice colorful instructions. It's always nice to see somebody include it in color. Um, goes over what's included, which are a right bracket, left bracket, and two of the hood brackets. They're the same both in both sides. And you also get two struts, one for each side. The only tools you're gonna need is I'm gonna use a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. You can use a 10 millimeter wrench if you have it. We're gonna go ahead and install it on the driver's side first. Let's get set up over here and then uh, we'll get installing this. It's super easy to do. Um, so easy to do that if I had to grade this on an expert scale of one to five, one being the easiest, five being the hardest, this would be an easy one. So let's get going on this. Okay, the bolt we're gonna to need to take out and we will be reusing the bolt is this fender bolt right here. It's gonna be the closest one to where the hood hinges are. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull that out and then we can put this bracket in place. Take the bracket, there's gonna be a hook right here. This hook is gonna go over this lip of the fender facing down like this. Uh, in some models, there may be a wire that runs right here, and the instructions tell you exactly what to do with it. You just have to reroute it. You'll take it off this location where it is, and then you'll just move it to the other side and hook it to, I believe, this washer nozzle line. But let's go ahead and get this installed. Just don't use a lot of force. Snug it up. Okay, so grabbed one of these number 30 brackets. Uh, I took the one of the bolts out and you just wanna make sure that this ball is on the inside when you go to insert it. So I left the bolt on the bottom of the bracket and that's gonna allow me to slide this up in here like this. Get it. it stuck And then it's just a matter of tightening this a little bit, lining that up. Second thought, make sure you have a little screwdriver too. So just kind of go up in there and line those bolt holes like so. And 
and then tighten it up, not too tight. Then we're going to take our strut. Okay, so real quick, um, when you put the shocks onto the lower um, ball stud, there's this red lock. It's going to be in the down position when you put it on, and then it's going to be in the down position when you want to take it off. But while it's on the vehicle, make sure it's up like that. That way there it doesn't come off. Let's pick up the hood just a little bit. And then snap that in. It's one side done, repeat on the opposite side. So now, you want to open your hood. Ta-da! And the best part is, if you still wanted to flip the hood back, you can still do that. because they unhook very easily. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, got something out of it. There'll be a link down in the description for it to be an Amazon affiliate link because that's where I got these. So if you want to buy these, click the link down there. I'll make a couple bucks, well, probably a couple cents off of each one sold. Um, give the video a thumb.